How are going guys, it's Hoops here. Well, it's Hoops, uh, 18 year old brother. <laughs> I've, uh, obviously, if you've quite noticed, I've had a bit of a trim and a bit of a uh, bit of a haircut. But anyway, uh, yeah, tonight, me and Jackie are actually going to do a video where we are going to make um, one of our favorite actual drinks. We're not huge big drinkers around here, uh, but this is our favorite drink. Not that one, but this one. It's um, Bailey's Irish, um, Irish cream or Irish whiskey cream, and it's absolutely beautiful. Like I said, we're not huge big drinkers around this house, and we hardly, rarely ever drink anyway, but uh, we've got our cousins coming over tomorrow for a bit of a barbecue, and um, yeah, we wanted to give them a bit of a treat and make ourselves some homemade um, Irish Baileys. So what we're going to do, I'll flip the screen around, but we'll, um, we will run to the intro very shortly, but uh, I'll show you what we got and what we're playing with, and then we'll get into it, and we'll see you shortly. Okay, so here, here are our ingredients. Obviously, we've got our Jamison's Irish Whiskey. Um, you can use uh, any, any whiskey, but uh, Irish whiskey is the go. We got our sweetened condensed milk. We've got two cans, probably should have bought more of that, but doesn't matter. Um, we've got our Hershey's um, chocolate flavored sauce. We've got vanilla essence. We've got almond extract. And we've got our thickened cream as well. Um, and the only other thing we need was instant coffee. So we'll have our Makona that we have, and I'll run through the um, each one as I make it up. But we'll um, roll the intro, and we'll get started on making ourselves some nice, yummy Baileys. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back. So I've got our little recipe written down here and I'll explain them to you and we'll go through it and we'll pour them all through. But uh, we want, for the Bailey's mixture, we want three quarters of a cup of our Jamison. We want our full can, which is 395 grams of our condensed milk. We want 400 grams, or 400 mils, sorry, one cup of our thickened cream. We want two tablespoons of our chocolate sauce. We want one teaspoon of vanilla essence, one teaspoon of the almond essence. And then we wanna do one teaspoon to one quarter cup of boiling hot water. So one teaspoon of um, coffee, instant coffee, to one quarter cup of boiling hot water. Mix that through, pour it in first. So. I'll get the kettle on, uh, just wanted to show you the recipe there, it's all just written out, I'm sorry, it's not very neat, but you can probably get the drift and I've, I'll take you through it as we go, but we'll get the, the kettle on, we'll get into the coffee first and then we'll start adding all the rest of the stuff in. Alrighty, we're back, so I've got my quarter cup of boiling hot water with one teaspoon of our instant coffee, which is actually Makona. So it's a uh, pretty nice coffee. So we're gonna add that in to our Thermomix bowl. And as you can see in there, we've got our little um, whisking blade in there to blend it up once it's done. So the next uh, ingredient is one full can of our Nestle condensed milk, which is absolutely beautiful and if you can um, pour that in there without tasting any, you're doing better than I can because I love this stuff and it's absolutely amazing. So we're going to add a full can in. I know it's a lot, but we're going to do it anyway. And whilst that's draining in, we're going to add now also one full cup of our thickened cream. So I will sit that in there like so. Let it drain out by itself. Okay, so it is really thick, thick and cream, obviously, but one full cup. Uh, we are going to be making this as a triple batch, so we'll be doing this, well, a double batch because we've got two, two condensed milks, so we'll be able to double our um, amount, but I'm going to add that in now as well. So one full cup. 
condensed milk is pretty much done, but we'll um, try and scoop the rest of that out. That's a full cup. And like I said, this stuff, oh, I love condensed milk, so good. Very sweet. Now we want our two tablespoons of our chocolate sauce. This is your well aware of Bailey's, it's got that chocolatey coffee sort of a flavour, so <clears throat> uh, that's where the Hershey's is probably one of our favourite um, chocolate sauces, and yeah, it's pretty much the recipe everyone uses is always with this Hershey's chocolate syrup, so we'll stick with what we know. So yep, we'll go with two tablespoons of chocolate, chocolate sauce. One. One more. And it's meant to make it, make it, this chocolate sauce, meant to make it taste so much better once the chocolate sauce has been added to it, so. I just had to. Yum. Okay. Uh, one tea, um, teaspoon of our vanilla essence as well. So we'll just open up our vanilla essence. Okay. <clears throat> so we want um, just the one teaspoon of vanilla essence. And the same with our almond. Our almond uh, extract. We want one tablespoon of the almond extract as well, which is really, really bizarre. Doesn't smell the greatest, but we'll go just short of one teaspoon. But supposed to be one teaspoon. All right. Now the only thing we are missing so far is our Jamison. Orange whiskey. Yep, it smells like a leprechaun. So yep, we'll go with um, we want three quarters of a cup. So I've got a quarter of a cup measurement because I couldn't find the three quarter. But we'll go three of these. So there is one. There is two. And there is three. So from my um, calculations, and I'm guessing that's what it would be, but um, Bailey's is actually 17% uh, alcohol. So I'm guessing why they bring it into three quarters and all the other ingredients will take um, Jamison down because it's 40% 40, 40 alcohol should bring it down to about 17%. So that's the theory. So we'll see how that all turns out. But we're gonna... Um, we are going to blend it, but we're not going to like super fast blend it. We're just going to just mix it through slowly because basically this is made already. Uh, it just needs to blend through a tiny bit. You don't want to blend it too much because it is thick and cream. So we don't want it to thicken up. We just want it to mix through with the rest of the ingredients. So we're going to take this over to the Thermomix, plug it in, give it a quick little buzz, and then we'll come back and then we'll start uh, bottling it and we'll give it a bit of a taste test and see how it goes. All right, so there we go. Here is our Thermomix. Like I said, it's a Thermomix. It's by Vore Work, and that is, I've had this once before, Thermomix, the basic cookbook. So someone asked me about that once before and I forgot to reply back to them. Anyway, ours is a Vore Work. It's German, I guess. I'm not sure exactly. <coughs> anyway, it's on. The lid is uh, on, and we're just going to give it this one, just one, hey babe? Yep, that one there, which is on the, the, the beat. So that's just mixing it? Is it mixing it very fastly? No, no. so we might step it up, it ramp careful, it though, up just it's... a tiny. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we'll make it a one-er. Mm. So it doesn't take much for it to. Yeah, because it doesn't need to be a big super blitz, like I said, we don't want it fluffing air through there because we'll it'll end up if you thickening on, it up. If you put that on number three, don't do it. If you put it on number three, it'll only take like 20 seconds for it to turn to butter. 
Okay, I think that is probably going to be fine. So, only a quick second. The lid is released. It's got that brown consistent colour, so I think we should be right. No, I don't think so. All right, we'll pour it into a glass with a bit of ice. We did a taste test, but we're gonna do another one. I'll taste it myself. Um, but yeah, always gotta have it poured over ice, for sure. Um, the consistency looks really, really good as well. And it's apparently it's pretty coffee, so I'll give it a good taste. That's beautiful, that's smooth, it's not, like whiskey, the normal Baileys, when I drink whiskey, I don't, I mean, when I drink Baileys, I don't particularly like it because it's really sickling and strong. And it's like, Ugh. but that is absolutely amazing. It's like not even, it doesn't have a big blitz of alcohol flavor and the cream. And I actually like the coffee one. Jackie, on the other hand, didn't. So I'm going to make another version now for her. I won't do that on the video, but I'll do one that doesn't have the coffee extract. We'll just do a plain one. Um, but she'll enjoy that and I'll enjoy that on myself. So yep, cool. Thanks guys for watching the video. I hope you got something out of it um, Like I said, we're not uh, Telling you guys to go out there and drink but um, we, we're not big drinkers, but we want to um, uh, Treat our cousin and his uh, family to something yummy. So we'll, we made Bailey So I hope you enjoyed that video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Stay moist